Today's tutorial, we'll discuss how to use computer vision to find text in C Sharp. Welcome guys, today we are gonna talk about how to use computer vision in C Sharp using the Iron OCR library to programmatically locate text within images. So right here is the example image that we're going to perform text detection operations. So in Visual Studio, I've created a C Sharp console application and I've already downloaded, installed the Iron OCR library via the NuGet package manager. And we also need to install the Iron OCR dot computer vision package for Windows so that we can use computer vision with the Iron OCR library. This is also available for Linux and Mac OS as well. All right, so let's look at the multiple ways of finding text from an image. So this first line imports the Iron OCR library, allowing us to use the OCR functionalities. Next, we create an instance of the Iron Tesseract class, which will be used for performing OCR operations. Then in using block, first we open an input image file by initializing the OCR input object and specifying the path to that file. So this object will be automatically disposed of when it goes out of scope. And find text region, we'll use computer vision to detect regions which contain text elements on every page of the uh, OCR input object. We can also use uh, optional parameters to fine tune the text detection process, as you can see on this line right here. We can also use uh, optional preferences to fine tune the text detection process, and you can see that on this line right here. Then the read method of the Iron Tesseract object is used to perform OCR on the previously defined OCR input object. The result is then stored in the resort variable of type OCR result. Finally, the text property extracts the text content from the OCR result and stores it in the result text. Finally, the text property extracts the text content from the OCR result and stores it in the result text variable of type string uh, for display on two consoles. So let's go ahead and run the project and see the output of the result text variable. We'll wait for the processing to do its thing. So you can see the text is accurately extracted from the input image. So now let's move on to another method of finding text. Use the crop rectangle class along with computer vision capabilities of the Iron OCR library. The find text region method returns a crop rectangle object with the detected text of that region and the coordinates and dimensions of the detected text region. The stamp method applies a red color stamp to the text crop area rectangle and saves the modified image. And this facilitates visual inspection of the accuracy of the text region that was detected. Next, we pass the text crop area as a parameter to the read method to focus on the identified region only. So let's go ahead and run the code and wait for the processing to complete. And there you go, you can see the output is the same as before. Here is the image with the crop rectangle showing the identified text region. There's another method available to find multiple text regions. It detects areas which contain text elements and divides the input into separate images based on the text regions. So let's run this and see the output. It gives each detected text a separate region, which ensures comprehensive text extraction. We can also use the get text regions method to detect text regions. First, we select the first page from the image input. Then using the get text regions method on the selected page, we can detect text regions represented as crop rectangle objects, facilitating further processing of text content. With the right settings and input files, Iron OCR with computer vision capabilities can be a really powerful tool. We hope that you found this tutorial helpful. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like some more videos from us. If you haven't tried out Iron OCR yourself and you're dying to, there's a link in the description below. Click on it, that'll go to the website where you can download a trial version. Check it out, you won't be disappointed.